Welcome to Bodhisattva YouTube. Here at Bodhisattva YouTube, we are forming a collective focus globally around the world towards the golden age, towards new harmonious technologies, towards holistic living in health and wellness, which means in right relation with all mother nature, the insect kingdom, which are the beings that take us into the supernatural world, the fairy kingdom. And our four-legged friends, our finned, winged, tailed and feathered. <laughs> and all the other beings of creation in their unique forms. In a sacred hoop of life, that of the six sacred powers, which are the four directions, four winds, and Mother Earth and Father Sky, and the element which um, harness the elemental kingdom for physical creation to have its form. So here we are, and today's topic is about learning not to criticize one another and learning to listen to each other. Learning to use our voices like grown-ups, like big kids. And that's the just of it. Right now, globally, we all need to learn to use our voices and we all need to learn to listen. And we all need spiritual morality and true understanding. So the first two have connection and alignment with something that serves us all. We need different genders in the world. This is very important for our spirit and our health. There are going to be men that feel like women. There are going to be women that feel like men. We do not need overreach and harmful drugs, children being taken from parents or parents' authority. I have learned a lot about the law and the law actually is designed to protect you. And if you are a healthy human being, um, your, your, your mental capacity is good and you're able to listen to lawyers and judges and you haven't done anything wrong or you're not being made to believe you've done anything wrong or you're not convicting yourself through fear and by not being able to speak up for yourself, then the law is actually not so bad. And I know how crazy that might sound but it's not. They're human beings and they are doing their best to live in the highest integrity of a system to organize and create wellness. And they're not vicious and they're not demons. They make mistakes. All humans are fall fall fallible. This means that we make mistakes and we have different perspectives at different times in our lives. So we can't possibly always see eye to eye. So that is why it's challenging for us to be human in such large societies. We need people who burn wood. Burning wood is not a bad thing for you that believe this is carbon pollution. This is actually bringing all sorts of nitrogen and carbon back to the earth for the plants to grow. Plants will grow really well here. And the heat that I'm feeling in my feet is the heat of the sun. So the wood, the trees, they store the radiant energy. They actually, they actually store radiation, positive radiation. And scientists can get confused because positive energy is actually negative ions and positive ions is actually negative energy. So that can be really confusing, but I'm just talking about positive in the sense that it's beneficial. 
So it's positive radiation. It's not nuclear radiation that creates harm. It's positive radiation that creates life. And that is our grandfather, the sun. And the sun lives within the wood. And when you burn the wood, the same radiation penetrates your body. This is very beautiful and it feels very good. Ho'oponopono. We are all three years old. We are all little children. When you grow up to an adult and you start believing in the system that you are embedded in more than the people around you, you are just going through a learning curve in life, coming back to yourself. <laughs> and it's innocent. And it's forgivable for the things we're involved in and how we harm each other along the way. But we can do better and we can make changes and we can understand each other and live as one people towards a better way. There, need, there is no need for war. God bless everyone that's going through that. There is no need for conflict. And all the people that are harmed in those situations are usually the innocent ones that are just in the way of big, pushy, angry people that are in some sort of pain themselves and fear. And that's where the desire for power and control comes from. Lack of understanding, lack of true understanding. A whole Satnam. Namaste. Ke aloha. Wonkin tonka. So all genders are necessary for our spirit. This is healthy. Not all men need to have children. Not all women need to have children. But it's a personal choice. And it's a struggle for all of us, you know. Some of us really want children. Some of us don't. Some of us get it. Some of them don't. Some people believe they don't want children. And in the end, find desire for it. Life's hard for us all. We all have challenges. It's not perfect. We have to accept our life and our journey. Not project it on to each other. That goes back into the levels of conversation and that life is a reflection. And again, not to project what you think is being reflected, but to be within your heart and to have a sense of, sense of empathy and connection in that connection. Hi. I, Good I evening. I saw the fire and I thought I'll check that there's somebody with the fire that it was burning alone. Yeah, thank you for doing that. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, know it's it's really small and I'm just warming. Yeah, yeah, no, no, it's 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 fine. But you know, like at times people leave leave the fires and they don't know. put it out. Yeah. Yeah, gotcha. Okay, okay. have a good one. Thank you. Everything is an eternal circle, and everything has purpose. We can come to a better place in this world on the journey of the healing path. Ho'oponopono. And this is that life is eternal. We're all connected, and we're here to live in a sacred way. So I'm very glad that you're tuning in. I hope this reaches you. I know that these videos and this vibration is going to reach the world sooner or later. And that uh, YouTube and Google will support free speech and support the good red road and the good earth 
and honesty and integrity amongst good people globally. That everyone will come to a greater sense of humility. And we can work less, share more, be confused less, have happier lives, and see things grow to a much stronger and greater capacity than we do today. We can use our energy more wisely. So your energy, my energy, our collective energy can come to a place that is in service for one another in our environments. One of the topics here in Canada that I'm bringing up is that we should not have to pay continually month after month for as long as that structure lasts after it's been built. A structure has been built, it's built. Nobody has to pay for it now. It's a sacred temple that's been built for the people to utilize in ways that benefits everyone, just the same as the earth. This is very much how indigenous thinking has taken place on our planet and how great civilizations have rose. And we wish to become one. When all seeds are honored, we will have no problem lifting off this planet and going into space, but we won't want to leave because the planet will be so beautiful and our way of life will be so deep and heartfelt and connected to all things that we will all be happy. It's possible. We need better leaders. We'd move a lot faster if we had better systems in place. The foundational thinking that's underneath our world economics is faulty. And can you have a building that stands on a faulty foundation? No, the building crumbles. We need a strong, spiritual, sacred, foundation amongst us all as one people globally for our civilizations to stand on. It is truly our spiritual strength that brings strength and integrity to our structures and our way of life. Another topic is true economics. Economics is the seed, the seed of life, so the tree of life can blossom. When all rays are grown freely, all of creation's rays, all of creation's flowers, light are grown freely all over the planet on Mother Earth once again. The tree of life will fruit and come to fruition once again. We will have a global society in peace once again, working together, working in the most harmonious way to create the most glorious way of life for all beings and all people. Aho! Abama Uenoa! Well, I could go on for a long time because I love to talk. But I'll, I'll cut it short and I'll just sing a little song. This is a song that brings heaven to earth. To realize that earth is heaven. Hey, oh, hey. Hey, ah, hey. Hey, ah, 
heo heya na heya na heya na na heva na heva Nava hiashi kundine naheva heya he heya he. Hiashi Kundine Naheva Hea He Hea He In the Northern Hemisphere, this is the time of the ancestors. May they be with you. And may you hear their voices and fall in love with creation. Thank you for listening. Please like and subscribe. And most of all, share the prayer. Many blessings.